Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we're going to help this noob with the Shadow Fruit reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Cold Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Grant the Ector Slam! Oh, there it is! Forward. There's your slam! There's the dump! For everyone who requested the Shadow Fruit, finally guys! So first off, we got the Somber Rebellion. Good thing with this skill, you can use this to travel fast, but it is only single target which is not really good for grinding. So I suggest on the first part of this grinding phase, we should rely on the combat fight style. We're going to finish quests, bandit quests until you reach level 10 and after that, we're going towards the final city, the fountain city. The technique here is really easy, just lure the galley pirate, use your left clicks to damage him and make sure to use your somber rebellion to do the last hit. Why gamer no? Because we want to increase the mastery of our shadow fruit to unlock scales faster. Additional information for those who's wondering, we are going to skip the pirate village as well as the jungle. Alright, so once you reach level 39, we're going to unlock our second skill, the Umbrage, Mastery 50 for the stats. Here it is, Blast Force 87, Melee and Defense 15, next up the Marine Fortress. What gamer know? Is this too early? No guys. We're gonna use the Umbrage, check this out. This is the flight of the Shadow Fruit. You can use this to lure and damage your enemies. Yes, you can lure and damage at the same time with the same skill. So we're gonna take advantage of this skill and we're gonna grind here until we reach level 75. Checking our stats, melee and defense 22, block fruits 187. To be honest, we can still grind here but check our money. It is very low because we are not doing quests. That's why we are going now to our next island, yes, the desert and keep on grinding desert officers. We're not gonna stay for long here. We're just gonna grind until we reach level 9. After that, we're moving on to our next island, the Frozen Village. First assignment is you need to level up 15 times with the Snow Bandits. We're gonna unlock our third skill, the Shade Nest. We won't be using that often with this mob, but don't worry. On our next mob, yes, it is a boss, the Yeti. We're gonna use all those skills. Okay, so at 105, you can start defeating the Yeti. You should also start doing server hop to make things faster because we're just gonna focus on the bosses. Guys, check this out. While I was grinding the public server, there you go, the Yeti. Someone's grinding on the side. Character was toofed by the Yeti. After that, I started attacking it and my combat moved no! on. I don't know why, maybe it's lag. No! But I defeated the Yeti and apologized. I really don't know how did that happen, but... Let's just focus on grinding, okay? At 120, we're gonna go back with the Marine Fortress and now defeat Petty Officers with the quest. 130, we're gonna start defeating the Vice Admiral. Here, we can use all our skills. Guys, just a reminder, the Umbrage, this skill will be cancelled if you got hit by his range attack. So make sure to go round in circles every time you use the Umbrage, okay? We're gonna do this until you reach level 220. And after that, next up, the Prison. So in this area, we have three bosses. First is the Warden. Don't worry, he's so easy to defeat. He doesn't have any range attacks. Next up is the Chief Warden. Same seas, this boss has no long range attacks. And at 240, you can start defeating the Swan. Again, I'm doing server hop, so there are other players that might be killing it. So make sure to add them first. And with their help, you can happily defeat any boss. Okay, Tropa. Okay guys, we're gonna leave this area with reach level 350 and after that, next is the Magma Village. We're only going to defeat the Magma Admiral here. And for my tip, guys, when you use the Umbrage, go again circular to dodge this skill. That one guys, once you are able to dodge that skill, everything will be easy, okay? That's it. Don't forget to use your Z and X skill. Your goal here is to reach level 425 and after that, Next island is the Underwater City. So here we're gonna start defeating the Fishman Lord. Just a reminder, this boss has two lives. First one is this, and after that, he will transform into this. Is he hard to defeat? No, just dodge his trident, that one. And that's it. He's actually, he's very easy to defeat. We're gonna do server hop here until we reach level 500. Let's check our stats. Melee 200, defense 400, blocks fruits 903. Next area is the Skylands, but before you grind, make sure to buy the Tomo Ring. This accessory is good for blocks fruit users. 
for our target, we're gonna start defeating the Whisper. You're gonna keep on defeating him until you reach level 575 and after that, don't forget to buy the Observation Aki. This will be helpful since we're going to go for max level. Next up is the Thunder God. Strategy is the same for almost all of the bosses that we fought. You're gonna do server hop until you reach level 675. Again guys, we're just gonna do server hop here. Next up is the Fountain City. So here we're gonna go straight with the Cyborg. Again, we're gonna skip two quests here. Don't worry guys, he's not so hard to defeat. And with the help of your new skill, the Nightmare Leech, as you can do lifesteal with this. Check the HP. Every time you use the skill, 20% of your HP will go back to you. We are going to continue leveling up here past 700 until we reach level 775. Our stats melee 400, defense 550, block fruits 1375. Now we are off to the second C. And to start it off guys, we skip lots of quests, the diamond, the raiders, and the mercenary. We're gonna go straight with the swan pirates. You can use a slingshot to lure four of them. Also, don't forget to turn on your observation hockey, use your umbrage to damage them. And don't forget about your Z, X, and C skill. At level 850, you will unlock a new quest, and that quest is the Jeremy quest. But guys, I don't suggest defeating Jeremy because we want more mastery. And if you want more mastery, you should focus on defeating mobs. So I suggest go back to the Swan Pirates for more mastery and unlock your final skill, the Corvus Torment. If you want a bigger uh, hitbox on this skill, make sure that your Umbra meter is at max. Okay, that's it. Now you can grind really fast when you team up Umbrage and your V skill. Don't worry about the cooldown of your Corvus Torment cause it's really short. Okay, so at level 900, you're going to your next island, the Green Zone. We're gonna start here with the Marine Captains. You're gonna level up 25 times here. Guys, don't worry with your combo, F skill, and your Corvus Torment. Everything is easy. Just make sure to lure them properly. Okay, we're gonna leave here at 925. Next up, Fajita or Fujitora. Guys, I don't suggest using your Ombrage here because every time you use it, there is a high chance that he might damage you. Check this out. I'm using Ombrage. There you go, I got damage. So let's just rely on the Z, X, C, and V skill. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 1000. Checking our stats, melee 500, defense 650, block fruits 1850. Next area is the snow mountains. We're just gonna defeat one mob here, the snow troopers. So same strategy, V skill and F skill, that's enough. We're gonna leave this area at 1100. Okay, that's kinda fast, right? Next up, hot and cold. So here we have two mobs. First is the lab subordinate, same strategy with almost all of the mobs. We're going to do our uh, VF combo, right? You're gonna do this until you reach level 1150 and after that, Smoke Admiral. Guys, I'm gonna show you how strong the V skill is, okay? So we're gonna do your V and X skill. We're gonna wait for it. Check the HP, guys. See that? Almost half HP. So meaning just two combos and we're good with this boss. We're gonna take advantage of that. We're gonna leave this area when we reach level 1250. Just a reminder, our technique or our strategy will mostly work when you have max black fruits, okay? That's a reminder. Next up, the cursed ship. Guys, uh, we're gonna do the 50-50 strategy here. Wait, Gamer no, what do you mean by 50-50 strategy? Guys, starting from the ship decans, we're gonna level up 50 times, okay? So that's 1,300. After that, we are going to our next set of mobs, the ship stewards. Again, we're gonna level up 50 times, meaning we will reach level 1,300 here. And after that, there you go. Next island, the ice castle. We're gonna level up 50 times with the Arctic Warriors again. I guess I don't need to tell you the combo. Just make sure to use your observation hockey and your slingshot to lure them. So another 50 level ups here and when you reach 1,400, next up, the boss in this island, the Awakened Ice Admiral. Same Zs, <laughs> use your combo, and when you get damage, don't forget to use your Nightmare Leech. That will again give you lifesteal, which will give you a higher chance on defeating the boss. We're gonna do server hop here until you reach level 1475. Let's check our stats, melee 835, defense 1290, blocks fruits max. Next up, the final island, the Forgotten Island, and we're just gonna focus on defeating the Tide Keeper. Yes, it is the boss in this island. Is there a tip or strategy to defeat him easily? 
My tip is always stay in this rock. There is a low to moderate chance that he won't summon his CBs, which will make your fight easier, guys. Again, I'm telling you, if the CBs is summoned by him, it's really harder to beat him. Another several hop will do the trick, and we're gonna do this until you reach level 1,500. Don't forget to do the Coliseum quest, and after that, head to the green zone, and we're off to the third C. Congratulations, last 800 levels to go. And we're gonna start things off with the Pirate Millionaires. Again guys, a tip, when you lure them, don't hit them, just go near them and they will go aggro on you. Use your F and your V skill and that's it. We are going to skip the Pistol Billionaires and we're gonna go straight to Stone when you reach level 1550. Some tips to make things faster, again always start with your V skill. It has very short cooldown which you should take advantage of. Also, don't forget your Nightmare Lich because this skill has lifesteal. I suggest that you do server hop until you reach level 1675 for the stats, max black fruits, defense 1762, 960 melee. Next up, the Hydra Island. Here, we're gonna skip 4 mobs and go straight with the Island Empress, yes. Heading to her location, there you go. Guys, the technique here is the wall strat. Lure her here and use your skills. Make sure to start with your V skill. There you go, check that damage. And then if you want to use your F skill, yes, you can use it. But make sure to use your observation hockey first. Just like this, guys. Okay? Okay, so again, we are gonna do server hop here. Sometimes there are bounty hunters, but guys, just focus on grinding. If they kill you, it's fine. The technique here is just focus on reaching level 1750. Next up is the Kilo Admiral at the Great Tree. For this boss, you should avoid using your Umbrage because it will get cancelled. So focus on using your Z, X, C, and V skill. Again, always start with your V skill. One more thing, if you're airborne, guys, this boss cannot hit you. Target level here is 1,800. Next up is the Floating Turtle. We're gonna start with the Fishman Captains. I have nothing much to say about these mobs. They're so easy to defeat. Lure 4, defeat them, do this twice to level up, okay? So guys, we will only defeat 2 mobs here. First is this one. And next up is the Forest Pirates. Why? Even though it gives out less experience compared to the other mobs, they're so near the quest giver. And I, I prefer doing that quest because after finishing it, just get another quest, defeat them again. So you will save lots of time, okay? I hope that's clear to everyone. Again, less travel time is equal to more quests finished. Target level here is 1,975. Stat check, block roots and defense max, melee 1,325. Next is Haunted Castle. And in this castle, we're only going to defeat the Reborn Skeletons. Again, why? Because they're very easy to defeat. They're easy to lure. Again, we want to save time, finish more quests as fast as possible. Hang on guys, we're almost there. We're gonna grind with the Reborn Skeletons until you reach level 2075. Next up, the final island is the Sea of Crete's. Last two mobs to go and first is Apina Scouts. Guys, this is my favorite because again, they're near the quest giver and they're easy to lure. Just make sure that when you use your umbrage, make bigger circles so that you can avoid them hitting you, okay? So you're gonna grind here until you reach level 2125 and after that, moving on to the connecting island. The island where Big Mom or Cake Queen resides, there you go. And for our final grind, we got the ice cream chefs. So same, you need to lure 4. Again, you're gonna use our favorite combo, the V and F skill. And that's it, you can reach max level here. But guys, for our last fight at 2,299, we're gonna fight the Cake Queen. For those who don't know, I think the, the weakness of Cake Queen is the Shadow Fruit. Why? Because if you use all your skills, guys notice that when you use your Z, X, and C skill, you're always moving, including your F skill. That's why I rarely get hit by Hey Queen, see that guys? I always dodge her skills and just in case you get hit, you can use your Nightmare Leech to regenerate your HP. This boss is almost dead and I hope that you enjoy this video. Final stats, max melee, defense, and blast fruits. And again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. Guys, I hope that you learned something from this video. Gamer and I'm out.